Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. To save the world, Izumo splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the Twelve Sentinels. The first was Truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. The second was Sky, forged by the Eternal Zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. The third was Howl, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to rain down divine punishment. The fourth was Mist, able to break earth and tear cloud with biting wind and rain. The fifth was Frost, freezing the land in an instant. The sixth was fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Then there was flare, thought, root, form, bind, maw. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation, winning victory after victory, until... All of them were broken. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. And in the end, that entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was Origin. The second was End. The world forged 70,047 blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know the road to salvation does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything more for the destruction of two worlds. In times past, Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely as beautiful as Izumo. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward one that we can never walk back. Until the last blade is forged into not. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet.